Okay, so for the Sony clock, this will be the nearly the last video in, I have one more video to do after this where we're going to be making the dials on the side of it. Um, the other details that have the text and numbers and all that in it, um, I'm actually going to do one to one with you in class. Um, I won't be doing a video about the text because it, it'll take too long to make a video and it's not worth my while making the video for it. Because all the text that's on the outside of this is actually just um, uh, stamped on. It's not actually, in, it's not engraved onto it. So I'll show you how to do that in class directly and you can work away at it yourselves. It's, it's quite easy to do. But this is our second last video. So it's a very short video. What I'm actually doing, I've gone into the main body again. So in my last video, I showed you how to cut out all these holes on top and how to make all of those buttons for that. What I'm looking at now is this space here where we have the tuning volume and bandwidth buttons that go onto the clock. So I'm just gonna right click on this space, I'm gonna to go to sketch, I'm gonna hit the space bar, and I'm gonna click normal too. In fact, from this video, you might be actually able to work out how to do the rest of the text yourself if you wish on the clock. Now, so there are three rectangles to sketch. So I go to sketch, I click the drop down arrow, I go to corner rectangle, anywhere here I draw a rectangle, anywhere over here I draw a rectangle, anywhere up here I draw a rectangle. We smart to mention that each of those rectangles is a total thickness of four, so that's four. This one is also four. The top one up here is four. And the length of this one is a total of uh, 30. The other one is shorter, it's a total length of 20. And the final one, the highest one, the bandwidth one, is a total width of 10. Finally, then we just to get these in the right position. So for this one, the distance from here to the bottom is up a total of 15. So as this, it's up a total of 15. And this one here, it's up a total distance of 30. Finally then, from the origin to this one is a width. So make sure you get the movement that way, that you have a width. It is it. Uh, from here to here is a total of five. And finally from here to here is a total of 18. I then go features, extruded cut, and we're gonna cut them in a total distance of 32. Click green tick once, click it again. Now, so that makes the sockets for where all of the remaining switches have to go in that I'm going to show in the next part of the video. Now what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to put some text onto it and if you have time then and you want to put on the rest of the text on the clock, you can. I'm just going to show you how to put one piece of text in it which says tuning. So I'm just going to right click on this face again, click sketch, hit the space bar, click normal too. I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to go to the line and I'm going to click for construction. I'm going to draw a line just across the top up a small bit from that rectangle, no particular measurement. Um, you can make up your own measurement, just have it, don't have it too far away from it. One or two millimeters is all you need. Sorry about that, now I'll go back to the file, it's just that there's another video uploading. Now, so I go to text, I click that line, so line one should appear here maybe, and I type in tuning in capitals. Make sure you spell tuning correctly, don't make my mistake. So T-U-N-I-N-G, T-U-N-I-N-G. That's it, there's no need to do anything else with the font. The document font is plenty good for this particular exercise. I click the green tick, I go features, extrude a cut, and I'm gonna cut that in 0 0.5. And there's tuning run onto it. And you can apply the same logic for putting bands, for putting volume, and here on top, you can put in all the other details on this face here, which is like clock and radio and all this type of stuff all around the outside. But as I've said already, once you've shown that particular skill once, 
There's no need to keep showing it over and over again. It's only if you have time should you put in more of the text. Okay, in the last video, we're going to be putting in the two dials and the switch here. We're going to be making the two dials and the switch for here. And then that'll be all the parts of the clock made. So once you have that update done, just click save. Thanks very much.